or let's hear from Todd here. He he brings us back a couple of episodes to 1032. He says Alex had uh, sent in a tip about setting up a secondary alert to remind of important birthdays. Many, many years ago, Todd says, I created a birthdays calendar in my iCloud calendar account, a manual birthdays calendar, mind you. It took a few, I, it took, I took a few weeks to add all the birthdays that I wanted to track. I standardized the title for each event, birthday, being first name colon actual date. So it's got like the, the year in which they were born as well. And he says, I set each to repeat annually and created four alerts for each. An email alert one week before, an email alert on the day of the event at 9 a.m., a calendar notification alert one day before at 9 a.m., and a notification on the day of event at 9 a.m. To add a new birthday, I now drag an existing birthday event with the option key down. So here's another quick tip to a different day, right? So he's copying this event, double-click on the new event, change the title, set the correct date, and add the repeat annually All the reminders stay intact when you option drag, but the repeat annually does not. Okay, that's good to know. Um, And that's also just good to know in general with moving calendar events around. This has served me well for years, he says, and I often uh, also add the date to their contact as the calendar app will show me their age on their birthday as well. Thanks, Todd. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. I'm I'm surprised that the birthday tracking, like this is clearly a thing. We've... Todd and Alex's comments were not the only ones that we got about this. This is a problem that like Apple's solution for tracking birthdays is not enough for many folks out there. And I, and I would agree with that. Like I, for certain birthdays, I, 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 I want them. I, I want more information. I want more notifications. Yeah. 